Say hi, we're here at a wonderful opening with Abe Chamber. Hi, Abe, how are you? I'm doing great. It's Savi also. My, my partner, Flora Plumage, from Albania, Italy, and the Bronx. All three great places. She's covered a lot of turf. And she's turf. very talented, this I yes. already know. And so are you. Look at what Thank we have here. Show, we show have a, a, a beautiful uh, art show of your fantastic works. Most of the people are by the bar because it's holiday season and that's where you got to be, by the bar. And they kind of finished all the vodka. They're working on the anisette, well, which I, is I, called a rock in the Mediterranean. There, there you go. So tell us uh, about the show. And how long will it be up and all those kinds of things? Well, it's only going to be up today. And now I find out that they're doing a show on the weekend. So they're leaving some of my pieces for the weekend uh, together with other artists also. But they wanted a show about Jerusalem. And Jerusalem today is not just for Jews anymore. You have probably more Catholics than Jews at any given moment. There's many, many Asians that come. In fact, you can go to the Kotel. Let's take a look at this Kotel. It's a very modern version of it. It's the sun setting over the Kotel in, in pure colors. And you have the primary colors mixed just a little bit in turquoise, purple, gold, and orange, which pretty much are the colors of Israel. Uh, blue and white, right, or the color of the flag? Blue and white of the flag. But if you notice, most of the colors of the art is a combination of burnt sienna and blue. Where is this location? That's literally Jerusalem at the Wailing Wall. That is the Kotel. And those are the three major hotels that people go to. There's the King David, the King's Hotel, and the Waldorf, the W. All right. So this is where we, you and I spoke on our interview. Yes. Because yes. I wanted the, the Temple Mount. Temple I wanted Mount. to put two lights. Uh, but we decided, and I agreed with you, not to do it there, as my rabbi said, and to do it maybe somewhere else in Jerusalem. Well, yeah. Well, it's very hard to do it over there because there's so many people and there's so many regulations in terms of standing there and doing it. But I'd go to the Midrachav, which actually has some pictures over here. Oh, beautiful. This is, uh, this is perfect, because we're planning on doing it, probably not this year, so you go to a major like event in Israel. Square, come, come in the picture of Flora. That floor should be in every square, picture. And they have shops and shops and shops. It's called, it's called, Machin Yehuda is the Shuk, and then there's Rehob Yehuda, which is the Midrachav, which other shops. And it's wonderful to shop in, to sit in cafes, and to read the paper. And some Israelis do that the entire day. This is the old city, taking a walk through the old city, where you see the buildings, the flowers. This is Yemin Moshe, the famous windmill with the King Solomon Hotel, going down the stairs. This is leading into the road that goes into the old city, which is there in the old, in the, in the old land. And this is a little out of the city. Very pretty. They're all very pretty. Sunlit scene with pure gold. What else? Where else are we? We have here. This is this is also like evening, as as the sun that sets on the. You see the beautiful shadows, the people standing there, people going. This is towards the old city, but this is part of the old city, and it's the Kotel, the Wailing Wall. Look up, and you'll see Migdal David, which is the Tower of David. And that's also two famous hotels. You'll see the David Citadel and also the King David Hotel. That's right there. Now, here's a Shagalian painting. There's two of them. Next week is Hanukkah. So Hanukkah, you see the lighting. And in the lighting, of course, we bring in the Organus, the light that God made the world, the primordial light. And we could be the light if we only talk in terms of peace and love and happiness and you want to make the other person feel better. And then you are part of God. And floor is showing the evening rays. That's not in Jerusalem. That's a lot of Jerusalem on the water. And that's what it looks like you know, with, the, with the waves, with the mountains that turn white. And those are the colors of Jerusalem. The colors of Israel, I should say. There's a Shabbos table ready to be set with the evening coming in. Explain the Shabbos table. The Shabbos table is very important because every night we eat dinner, hopefully we bring the table together, the family together. On Shabbos, a Friday night, as we bring in the Sabbath, we do a ceremony. We have to have the Kiddush, which changes the day from a regular day to a sanctimonious day, to a, to a, a holy day. And we eat the challah, which is on the here. We, we put out the tables. 
We eat fish and meat. And it's <laughs> uh, so what's a kapala? What's a kapala? That's my yarmulke. And what's a yarmulke? Shows yamaka? that God is above you. Something's above you. You're not God. I know a lot of people like to think they're God today and they have all their morals and values. We take our values, Christians also, from the Bible. God tells us what the values are and we are subject to God and the Bible and His laws. If you don't want that, then you create your own laws and you let the laws bend to your will. That's not what we believe in. We don't judge you, but stop judging us. This country is based in God we trust. We want to serve God. We need God in this country. In fact, we've gone too far away from it. Not, com not commingling God and state. We need more God in the state because without it, we have no morality. And we're just descending into chaos. We feel it. And we hope to avoid that. We hope to have, bring God back and have moral people. And you wouldn't see so much crime. You'd see more love. You'd see more charity. You'd see more everything. More marriages staying together. More kids staying together. That's all we want. Let's move on a little Let's bit more. On. But this said something to me. Uh, 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 Jerusalem of gold, and it had a certain... Uh, uh, that's the name of this specific Yes, piece? because, because your Shalim Shel Zahav is very important because when you look in the evening, at night, and in the morning too, everything has a golden tone to it. All that white Jerusalem stone has a golden tinge to it. It literally feels like you're, like you're before the king. And, and, and it's basically white slate, and yet it looks gold. Take a look at the white here. I didn't paint it. It's not gold. And yet, it looks as gold here. It's so reasonable. And you can't beat this price. Um, this is unbelievable. Flora says you can't no, beat No, you can't price. beat that price. That's a, that's a, a work of art of uh, This was sold This was sold for $5,000 already. It didn't hit it, but... It's down here. And just tonight, is just tonight, two thousand dollars. It's a magnificent bronze frame. Oh, it's frame. gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The, the frame could you cost half of that. You see no, it's look, at, look at that frame. It's the tomb of Rachel it's from a 1907 uh, uh, black and white photograph. They put through a lot of color into it. That's the real color of it. In 1907, Barry, it didn't have that color. But with watercolor, you see the light coming. Color and that you can't do that with opaque colors with oils and acrylics, only with watercolors. Hey, you're really a talented man. You're really yeah, talented. You, $1,500. I'm telling you, this is unbelievably reasonable and extraordinary. This is normally sold for $3,000. This, this is all, and it could even sell for much more. Tonight, it's only 1500 No, you've got such a beautiful thing here. Comes, this is gorgeous. If you buy a Flora Smiles, that you also uh, that, 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 that's, that's worth twice the price. This is Anna Tisho painted these beautiful scenes, black and white mostly, with a touch of color, touch of gold, touch of pink. I took, not her stuff, but I sat by the Jerusalem desert and I and I looked at it right outside Jerusalem and I drew it and I said, this is too big for one painting. I'll do two paintings that connect. It's called a diptych and I framed them together. Let me, only tonight is a thousand dollars. Let me ask you a question. The, uh, when you paint these, are you actually at a location and are you looking at this? And are you sitting there with an easel and no. painting? And are you take a photograph, you come back home, and you do it? What, how, how do you I proceed? I sometimes sketch, but I never paint it at the location. And I, I like to sit outside, and I make a little sketch. Or mostly I will take a picture, or ten pictures. I'll take one of them and make my version. I'll paint that version of that, of that picture. Take a look at this wall. That's the one on the... Uh, Three people uh, love that painting. Five want to buy it. What's the website? Do you have a website? Oh, no. Belmont Galleries NYC.com. Belmont, like the racetrack. Belmont is chamber. It means beautiful mountain. Belmont Galleries IES NYC.com. Well, one quick question. The young lady, young lady, you're an artist. She's a phenomenal artist. What do you What do you think about AIDS? I am Work. in love. Really? Okay. Like Chagall, Chagall Rolova. <laughs> no, seriously, you have amazing composition. Composition, the, the, the color, the energy is just... Yeah. That's Liza Flora's sister. Yes. So, uh, Liza, what do you think about the, uh, the artwork? Oh, it's beautiful. You love it? You know, 
We love our game and we love his art. No, Everything he has gorgeous. And not just beautiful, it's the, the way it's composed. It has. Uh, I just want to keep staring at it. I'm taking photographs. Thank you. Keep All taking right. photographs. Hey, congratulations, Abby. Everybody loves your work. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Let the light in. Be the light. Don't just accept the light. Be the light to everybody you know. Give them love. Take care of them. Don't ask for a blessing. Be a blessing. As Rebison Young Rice said, be the blessing in life. Thank you.